Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. I am Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Harley Benton yet again. Um, they made a copy of a Mosrite or a Univox High Flyer uh, or an Eastwood, however you ought to say it. You know, the, the original is ultimately the Mosrite. But uh, let's just take a look here at this article. We'll take a look at this guitar and I'll give you my general thoughts on this. So, Harley Benton puts an effort, uh, puts an affordable 21st century spin on a punk favorite with new MR series guitars. So these guitars mainly became popular, uh, in my opinion, because of Kurt Cobain. At least the Univox High Flyer did. The Mosrite Exquire line features classical and modern models with a baritone version of each also available. So there's a regular version and a baritone version. Holly Benton has unveiled a new line of electric guitars, the MR series, YMR, while these new models play tribute to the long defunct Mosrite brand, popular by the unique looks and super thin necks. Mosrite models were used by guitarists of many genres, but are perhaps most well known by other associations with a punk trailblazer, Johnny Ramone. <coughs> Ramone used a 65 Mosrite Ventura as two model on every one of the Ramones albums for virtually all of the band's thousands of shows through the decades. Aiming to both channel that vintage spirit and give the guitarist 21st century features, Harley Benton is offering the MR series models MR Classic, MR Classic Baritone, MR Modern, MR Modern Baritone. Uh, so basically, it's if you want humbuckers and tremolo or if you want uh, P90s. That's going to be the difference here. Uh, so the MR Classic model features a basswood body, C-shaped Canadian maple neck, 12-inch radius, uh, Jotaba fretboard, some sort of rosewood subservient most likely, 22 frets, and a standard 25.5 scale length. Sound on the guitar comes the way of the Artec P90 El Nico 5, which are controlled by individual volume tone knobs. you got a three-way selector switch, nothing fancy here. Hardware-wise, the MR Classic boasts a fixed bridge, a Graftech knot, which is nice, a double-action truss rod, also nice, Wicklinson tuners, all hardware is finished in chrome. The MR Classic comes in metallic blue, candy apple red, pearl white, three-tone sunburst, which that's the standard Kurt Cobain color, in black. <coughs> They are now starting for 231. A left-handed version is also available, so for you lefties out there, there you go. The baritone, on the other hand, it <coughs> is going to be a 27-inch scale length, as opposed to the standard 25 and a half. Um, and also three different colors, and they're going to offer that for the same price, $231. Uh, the modern, that is where you're going to get your... Uh, tremolo. You're going to have two Soap Bar El Nico 5s, which are said to be slightly more powerful and punchy than the classic P90s. These are controlled by a single volume knob. This one does have a push-pull, so you can get the single coil tone with the coil tapping uh, capabilities. Same thing, three-way switch. Rather than a classic fixed bridge, the model comes with the Wilkinson VS 50s tremolo, the Wilkinson locking tuners. As opposed to the classic Wilkinson standards, there's also a double-action truss rod, graph tech nut, similar hardware. Um, again, finished in chrome, like its classic signings. However, the MR models comes in metallic blue, candy apple red, pearl a three-tone sunburst, and black. With a left-handed version, of course, available. All the models are available. So the modern ones are a little bit more expensive. They're going for $324. That's probably because of that Wilkinson bridge uh, and the locking tuners. You get the push-pull push pots, things along those lines. Uh, and then the baritone uh, looks like my mistake. Maybe they just mistake, made the mistake in the article here. Uh, that is also going for $324. So let's take a look at the original Moserite. So the reason they're offering these things with a tremolo is because the Moserites did have a tremolo on them initially. I uh, know it was P90s on a tremolo, so why they didn't make a version of this with P90s on a tremolo, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, Moserite guitar, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, right there. <laughs> there you go. Um, and that's him playing one, and it looks like it did in fact have a tremolo on it. Uh, he, I believe, modified it. Uh, might be different pickups in there. It is a left-handed version, so you can get that left-handed version. Uh, the Univox High Flyer, um, also a harder to guitar to get 
in this day and age just because of the popularity with Kurt Cobain. Uh, these go expensive as well. I mean, you're not going to... These used to be like, you know, $200 pawn shop guitars. Uh, that's the reason Kurt Cobain bought them, but because he's associated with them, now you're lucky if you can get away with get one of these for under $1,000. Um, the other subservient of these... Um, which to my knowledge was the only one really making copies of these is Eastwood. Uh, they do make pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's more in the mid range, you know, $600 is definitely more affordable than a thousand dollars. These are stop tail pieces. You know, you're not going to get, they call them side jacks. They do have a baritone version with a 12 string version. Uh, there is one with the tremolo. So they do make a copy of it, but these are on the more mid-tier, slightly expensive side. You know, you're looking at $600. So it's something that not everybody necessarily wants to get into. But then we go over to the Harley Benton side of things. And for $231, you know, why not? I mean, yeah, you got to include shipping on top of that. That's something I always have to mention to people because the shipping does get expensive. You have the slim fretboard, looks like 22 frets. Let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, 22 frets. Uh, this blue version is pretty nifty. My only complaint is they could have done something a little better with the heel joint, if we're being completely honest here. Um, they could have rounded that off, but uh, it looks pretty neat. You know, that's mainly what Harley Bettons are. They're just copies of guitars, you know, nothing too fancy. Um, let's see if we can take a look at some of the other colors here. Uh, there's your three-tone sunburst, your black, your white, and there is your candy apple red. Now let's see if we can take a look. We go back here, a couple of clicks to the baritone version. Uh, so let's, uh, we'll start with the modern version, I guess. We'll go right here. So let's, we'll just do an AB comparison. Let's get the blue one up again. Do, do, do. If the image wants to load, that would be awesome. There we go. So same thing, as I said, this is just going to have your pickups in it and your Wilkinson's tremolo. So you got the route in the back. This one is going to be more expensive. So if you want the tremolo, the locking tuners, you know, you got to fork up an extra hundred bucks. Me, I personally like the plain Jean P90 model. I've never personally owned a baritone guitar. Uh, let's see, you can get, yeah, you can get the regular, there's two baritone versions, so there's the classic baritone, which, you know, that's just going to be your 90 P90s, uh, and then it looks like there's the modern baritone, so, which is going to be your humbuckers, uh, so, not a bad price to get into a baritone, it looks like this is the only version of the baritone, uh, that is available for you. So, um, if you want another color besides the baritone, you're not going to get another variation of it. Uh, let's see about the uh, the modern version of it, the one that goes up to $320. Let's see, this is blue. Uh, yeah, looks like, nope, sorry, wrong one. My apologies. Let's see, there's the baritone, lefties. I'm having a hard time finding it. Maybe the baritone is only available in the one. I could be mistaken. Uh, let's just go through and look. So there's the baritone right there. It says baritone. Modern, modern, modern. <laughs> modern, modern, modern. Uh, bar there we go. So, yeah, it looks like the baritone is only available in that one color. Um unfortunately so if, if you wanted the baritone not, not a bad price point to get into it but you are limited in the color selection uh i would say if you want to get into this you know 230 bucks isn't too bad to get into it let's be honest here uh shipping wise you might be looking at a hundred dollars so 330 really not that bad to get into it to try to test out one of these guitars to see if it's something you want you know maybe you want to go get a univox high flyer or a moserite or an eastwood something along those lines and you don't know if you like the shape the weird slanted pickups uh things along those lines because all of these are going to have that funky slanted pickup in the bridge and it is going to give you a slightly different sound so that's something to keep in mind as well but for copies of Moserites or Univoxes, however you want to say it, this is the cheapest option right now. So this definitely might be the way to go 
if that's the kind of guitar you're looking for, if you're looking for kind of that Kurt Gobain style, you know, go to a pawn shop, buy the cheapest thing you can get, and then smash it on stage, uh, by all means, have at it, if that is your forte. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you want to see for future guitar and music-related videos. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.